It does have slight smell of grandma, which, you know, just adds some personality. Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny day, what is up? So today's video is a big collective thrift haul and I am so gosh darn excited because basically everything I am showing in this video, I've thrifted in the past three months since the last time I did my like big collective thrift haul, I think in October. And so some of these things you have never seen before and I have just been itching to show you guys. Some of them you have seen and I've gotten so many questions about. And so I figured it was finally time to sit down and just film a proper thrift haul. I've been enjoying doing like more collective thrift hauls versus kind of like a bunch of really small ones because a lot of times when I go thrifting, I may pick up one or two items. So it makes more sense to kind of just collect it and then share with you guys. And truly I can say, I have thrifted my dream wardrobe. Like every single piece in this thrift haul, I am just like drooling over, which if you do like thrifting and secondhand fashion and you're not already subscribed, then make sure to subscribe right down below. Let's just get into the thrift haul because I don't think you guys understand how much I literally have like I I'm I'm really excited. <laughs> I honestly don't know where to start because it's been so long of me collecting these pieces. I don't know the exact pricing of everything, but the first piece I think I'm going to talk about is kind of like a spring item. I thrifted this cardigan from a Plato's Closet. It was $8 and it's originally from Talbot's and it is in a large. Look at how absolutely beautiful these little flowers are on it. I'm definitely leaning more towards cardigans versus proper sweaters. Like I realized I didn't really thrift any sweaters this fall and winter. I mainly thrifted like sweater vests and as you will see cardigans. And I just really loved the details on this little cardigan and I'm just so gosh darn excited to wear it. The next item I think I've already shown in a video. It is originally from Forever 21. I thrifted it at Plato's Closet for $10 and it is this just little almost champagne colored cami. I love these types of tops. They're really perfect, honestly, with just jeans and like my leather blazer. It's just one of those easy go-to items that I can just throw on and be like good to go. Actually, during the same trip that I thrifted the cami and cardigan, I had thrifted this t-shirt, which I was shocked. It was only $2. It just says cool cats and kittens. And it's just a t-shirt with, you know, cats. I don't know if it's supposed to reference Tiger King or not, or it's just like cool cats and kittens. Is that, was that a saying before? I do not know, but it's very comfy. It's amazing. And I just am shocked that it was only $2 because of how great it was. I mean, maybe I'm the only person that like loves cat shirts, but I've definitely fallen back in love with thrifting t-shirts. I kind of had stopped for a while just because I felt like they all kind of look the same specifically when I was like filming and stuff. And it's kind of interesting because with YouTube, sometimes it does dictate what you wear because it's like, I would look at all my thumbnails and I'd be wearing either a white t-shirt or a black t-shirt. And I love t-shirts in general, but you know, you wanna have variety. And so definitely my style has evolved, you know, for many different reasons, but definitely wearing different types of clothing in videos just makes it a little bit more interesting than just wearing the same, like couple t-shirts or t-shirts that look similar. But at the end of the day, I love t-shirts. So I'm really excited for the one that I've thrifted recently and that I will be showing more in this thrift haul. This next piece I've literally gotten so many comments about because I had worn it in my trying fashion trends I hated video and it is this beautiful black and white button up. It looks like this. I don't remember where or when I thrifted it or how much it was probably was like $10. It is originally from the brand AK Collectible and it doesn't say a size or anything. It is just so beautiful. I mean, come on, look at that collar, especially with the shoulder pads. That definitely adds, I think, a structure that the top kind of needed. I mean, there's just something so nice about with the collar having kind of like this lace detail and then going on the black. Like it's just 
Going back to t-shirts, I figured I would just show these two t-shirts that I ended up thrifting when I went to the Melrose Trading Post. I had met up with another YouTuber, which is in the Wander Years. First one you have seen in a video, it is just this NASCAR t-shirt. I don't remember how much it was, maybe like 20 or $30, which is pretty like honestly cheap for like a Melrose Trading Post type of thing, which is a flea market in LA. And I have been wanting like, some sort of car t-shirt like this for such a long time but they always have like nascar drivers faces or like names and i don't know i don't know who those people are i don't know what they stand for i mean i don't really know what nascar stands for but i felt like it was a safe option i just kind of like the whole vibe of the t-shirt then i got this winnie the pooh t-shirt it's so cute it says you make me smile and it has Winnie the Pooh and ear on it. I really love that the actual text is almost like a glitter text. And I realize I don't have many Disney t-shirts and especially during the summertime when I do go to Disneyland, I'm always so lost at what to wear because I have mainly Disney crewnecks and sweatshirts, but not many t-shirts. I felt like this one was perfect. And as you guys know, I love yellow. So it just made sense. So when I thrifted this next piece, I was just so shocked that I was able to finally find it, which is this black suit vest. It was $5.99 at Savers. It's originally by Gap. I have been wanting to thrift like a proper suit vest for such a long time. I think I had said I wanted it in like a come thrift with me for my thrift wish list. Every time I went to the thrift store, I just could not find the perfect one. And so I was so happy to finally find it. Suit vests were one of those things that I definitely didn't really like love at first glance. I know probably a couple months ago, they were quite a big trend. I feel like now it's kind of died down, which I actually kind of love thrifting things that were trends like a couple months ago that have died down. It kind of helps me, you know, reevaluate if I actually do really like that specific trend since it's not necessarily like super trendy. So I was kind of happy that it has taken me so long to finally find it. And because of that, I feel a lot more appreciation for this piece. The next two pieces are literally the same thing, just in two different colors. I mean, they're from different brands and like they're different styles, but they are basically the same thing, which I'll start with this one first. I had gotten it on ThreadUp. It is originally by Zara. I got it for $11.99 and it's just a little racer back tank top. It's very simple. It's, you know, basic. It's just a black tank top. And the reason why I originally wanted it is because Nicole Raffi wore basically a white one in one of her vlogs and I don't know why but like my heart was like oh my goodness I need that tank top I then also thrifted this white one from Plato's Closet it is originally from Forever 21 although I would say it's not really a racer back this one is actually a racer back whereas this is kind of just like a ribbed tank top crop top. A piece I thrifted recently is this super cute skirt. It was $10. It is originally from La Belle. And I mean, come on, look at this pattern. Look at this pattern. I am in love with these types of skirts. And for some reason, I just felt like I didn't really wear them that often, specifically in the summer last year. And definitely this year, I want to wear them more. It kind of gives a little bit like a high low vibe, but not too like like, you know, super short and then super long. It just drapes perfectly. Another cardigan I had thrifted actually recently, like in the past week, is originally from Cabin Creek. It was $5.49 and it is in a large and it's just a black little cardigan. I mainly saw this kind of tucked in or even untucked with just some jeans. I really like the material. It's not itchy. It's not too soft. Like it's literally my perfect sweater or cardigan material. It does have slight smell of grandma, which, you know, just adds some personality. The next couple pieces were sent to me for free from the Depop account Nostalgic Threads. The seller didn't ask me to show them in a video. She didn't ask me to like post about it or anything. It's not sponsored. She just said, it to me and it actually was kind of a surprise when I went to my PO box and they were like oh you have a package and I was like I don't remember buying anything and it was like a couple days before Christmas so it literally felt like Santa sent me a gift the first thing she had sent me is actually something that I wore when I went to Disneyland at the beginning of January it is this Tinkerbell crew neck I mean she just knows me so well it's super comfy and it's actually quite a thick 
crew neck as well so it definitely kept me nice and warm when I went the next crew neck is this pastel cat one like are you kidding me it is so so cute it is originally from simply basic it isn't a medium obviously I love cats it has little cats with bow ties. She then sent me two t-shirts, this first Minnie Mouse one. Again, I was talking about how I realized I didn't have any Disney t-shirts, and so now I am definitely feeling good on that. And then this pink one also has Minnie Mouse on it. It is, I think, a kid's t-shirt, so a little bit more fitted. And then she sent me this little two-piece kind of set. You guys know I love green, and I specifically have said like green with black and white is literally the best combo and so this is perfect. It is originally from the company Argomen. Definitely thank you to Nostalgic Threads for all of those. Since we're on the topic of things being sent to me, my best friend, Miss Carrie Dayton, actually sent me two Disney crewnecks and I have literally been wearing them like interchangeably every single day. Like these are the two like most worn pieces of 2022 already. The first one is this Mickey crew neck. I mean, come on, it is so comfy and I just love the like color blocking going on. It's it's just so good and I honestly cannot explain my gratitude for the fact that she had sent it to me. I love honestly clothing swaps with friends. That's another way to give you know a second life or a third life if it's like thrifted or fourth life, fifth life to a piece of clothing. Also this Mickey crew neck as well. It's like a forest green. This fits honestly amazing. It's so comfy. Like I said, I basically have been wearing these every single day. I mean, look at that embroidery. Like, come on. Next, we have a little mini skirt. And this specific mini skirt, I'm sure you're looking at it and you're like, I definitely have seen that many times, which is the Urban Outfitters checkered mini skirt. I feel like everyone and their moms owned this like four years ago and I am late to the party. I know. I have gone back and forth about this gosh darn mini skirt for such a long time because obviously because it's so just like well known in a way. I feel like there's so many being resold on Poshmark. I've seen it in Plato's Closet and I've always just gone back and forth if it really like made sense with my style. And when it was popular, it didn't really make sense with my style. Whereas now, like I am so excited. I mean, it's in great condition. I didn't realize that they have pockets. Like, are you kidding me? I ended up finding this on ThreadUp. It was, I think $13.99. Next, we have this super just, oh my gosh. I'm honestly shocked. I found it at the thrift store. It was $4.99. It's originally from Sabrina and it is this black kind of midi length slip dress. I'm just so excited to layer this. It is a little bit wrinkly. I definitely need to find my mini iron or I need to just buy a actual iron. I don't know. I get scared of ironing clothes for some reason. I feel like I'm going to set the house on fire. I don't know why. It doesn't make any sense, but I think I definitely need to finally get one. Kind of in the same style, I have another slip dress. This one's from Private Luxuries. This is my perfect floral pattern. I am just so in love with it. I love also that I guess kind of the color around the flowers is almost like a cream champagne off-white. I know none of those colors are the same, but it's like a mix. It's not a bright white and it is just such a beautiful slip dress. Surprisingly, I do have a pair of jeans in this thrift. I mean, maybe it's not surprising, honestly. I thrifted these from Savers. They were $10.49 and I originally got them in like the middle of December and gosh darn, the feeling of the denim. I know. I own a lot of, you know, high-waisted jeans that basically look exactly the same, but they are not the same. They fit, honestly, all so differently. Depending on what kind of mood or what kind of outfit, or honestly, even like if I'm on a period or not, it kind of will, you know, vary as to what pair of jeans I will wear. And these are just so amazing. They fit me perfectly on the waist, but they're definitely a looser fit denim on the leg. They are originally from St. John's Bay. Funny enough, I thrifted them without my measuring tape. I know, how did I forget my measuring tape again for like the billionth time? When I put them up to my waist, I was like, okay, it's like 95% that they're going to fit. Or honestly, I mean, 
realistically it probably was like a 65 percent chance that they were gonna fit or not because you truly do not know unless you try it on but they fit me so perfectly now i don't know if you guys know that you probably do i think i've like talked about it uh at least on my instagram but i am a joe bro ho i used to own like a couple jonas brothers t-shirts that i got from their concert when i was younger but i lost all of them and like my heart seriously breaks i found this one on depop and i find stuff like this and even like Britney Spears t-shirts and seeing Backstreet Boys it's really hard to know what the fit is going to be like because sometimes it may be junior sizing a small may actually fit like a large and a large may fit like an extra small so you really don't know it isn't a medium so I would have preferred it in a large but just in the way that it had looked on Depop it seemed like it would be a really good fit and this is their 2008 tour with shipping I paid $50 for it you know no regrets honestly I've seen Jonas Brothers t-shirts go for way more. This next one is going to seem so random, uh, but I bought lace vintage gloves from Etsy. It was $31 and three cents. I have fallen in love with lace gloves, white lace gloves, black lace gloves. They just look so royal and just like add so much personality. I don't know if this will necessarily be like an everyday item I will be wearing, but I think paired well it, ju it just does something. So remember when I said that I have a lot of wrinkled clothes I need to iron? This piece definitely needs to be ironed. I actually hand washed it because it is 100% silk. It is originally from Style & Co. And it was $11.99 at Savers. And I mean, this color, are you kidding me? Like how absolutely breathtaking this top is. Like I just fell in love with it right when I saw it. I've definitely been having my eye out for more kind of button ups like this because I think I only really have two or three and I just think they're a really nice item to put with anything and it kind of like heightens it up a little bit. Another piece I've gotten literally so many questions about is this color block blazer. Oh my goodness, is this not the cutest thing ever? It is originally from the company Endless Rose. It is in a large and I ended up thrifting it at Plato's Closet for $14. I am so in love with it. This is a piece I definitely want to wear literally every single day. And and again, I wore it in a recent video and like literally everyone lost their minds because of how cute it is. Like I get it. I am obsessed with you with this blazer. This next one, especially compared to the last one is quite simple and a little bit boring. I cannot deny, but it, it does the job that needs to be done, which is this t-shirt originally from H&M. It was $12 and it's just a plain loose fitting t-shirt. I a lot of times gravitate towards a white t-shirt and jeans look when I'm definitely feeling anxious. A lot of times, depending on how my anxiety is, if I'm going to a place, whether it's going to a new thrift store or meeting somebody that I've never met before, I will go for kind of like my go-to look when I am feeling anxious because it kind of like puts me at ease. Back to something a little bit more fun. This one is originally from Misguided. I got it at Plato's Closet for $16, but it did have the original misguided tag. So it basically was completely brand new. It's kind of like a baby doll style dress, which are honestly one of my favorite silhouettes for dresses. It does have a little bit of a puff sleeve. And I was even thinking this with some like pastel pink tights would be really cute or just white tights I think would also be really, really nice and would also pair with this next. I mean, I don't know if it would actually pair nicely with this next piece, but oh well. It is that pink beret that that I had talked about in Wednesday's video that I was like, oh, I saw a Play-Doh's Closet, but I was too indecisive to buy it. Well, I went back and they still had it. So I, I figured that was a sign that I should buy it. I don't remember how much it was. I wanna say it was like five or $8. Another pink piece, it was $6. It's originally from Faded Glory. It is in a large and it is this turtleneck sweater, but it's sleeveless. And I just love the pattern and the colors with a lot of turtleneck sweaters. I'm usually not like in love with them because I am so particular on how I like the feeling on on my neck. A lot of times I feel very constricted because it's like the turtleneck and then the whole like arm thing, but it just being the neck part, I was like, ah, oh, actually I really like that, which is funny because I'm literally wearing almost like a mock neck sweater, but this one fits really nice. So it doesn't feel constricting or anything. Oh, I totally forgot. I did have a sweater. It's from Cape Isle Knitters. It is in a large and it does say 
knitted by hand which is absolutely insane like i cannot imagine knitting this it is a floral sweater it is kind of heavy like it's loose and it's not too thick but it definitely is a little bit of a heavier sweater i absolutely obviously fell in love with all the florals on the front and i thought it was again just such a cute sweater for spring there are some imperfections kind of in the sweater but that makes sense especially with it being handmade it's probably really really delicate i did have to hand wash this because that's what it said to do and it took literally forever to dry but i know probably putting it in the washer and dryer would kind of do this and maybe the person that originally had it did that. Since we're talking about florals and spring, this top definitely gives me spring. It is originally from Forever 21. It was $11. It is this floral little puff sleeve crop top. And I realize I really haven't thrifted any puff sleeve tops like this. Honestly, I haven't really seen them at the thrift store. I know that they aren't as popular anymore, but this silhouette is honestly my favorite. Other reason why I haven't like actively been trying to thrift these types of tops is during the summertime I wore one of my puff sleeve tops and because my hair is like the longest it's ever been I didn't realize that when it hits your back and you're like sweating that then your hair gets sweaty and during the summer I was wearing like a puff sleeve top while I was filming and my hair was I mean it was just like normal there was some you know pieces of hair in the back that were hitting my back and when I finished filming I like felt how sweaty my back was and because it it's not necessarily like an open back but it has like a good amount of skin on your back that's just open that my hair was like resting on even though it's kind of like winter colder weather like my back isn't sweating as bad as it was back in the summertime i just kind of steered clear from them but i am back into them and i'm so excited to rock this this piece is kind of a random one but i got it from plato's closet and i follow plato's closet on instagram and they posted this skirt and i was like oh my goodness that is so cute and i ended up calling them and asking them to put it on hold and they did which which is this teddy bear skirt. Uh, it is originally from Cider. It is in a medium and it was $10 and it actually fits really nice. I know with brands like Cider and Shein, sometimes sizing can be like really off and I usually don't go out of my way to like thrift items from those brands but this was just so gosh darn cute especially because it's almost like a tapestry type of material with springtime coming up definitely my love for cottagecore has been like awakened again and i saw this dress it was 16 dollars, and it's originally from universal thread they did still have the original tag which was 34 dollars 99 cents so it had never really been worn and is this just sleeveless frilly long white dress i am so obsessed with it and i was actually quite surprised to find it secondhand and in such great condition like literally no stains whatsoever so the last two pieces are my favorite pieces of this entire video like i absolutely love everything i've already talked about but these two pieces i have been saving the best for last which I thrifted this coat from Depop. It was $60, which with shipping and everything, it came to like $80. And the original price of this coat, I think is like $60 or maybe even a little bit less. Like I probably paid more, but I feel okay with that because I mainly wanted to get it secondhand and I was very particular in what I was looking for. And I've been searching for such a long time for this exact fit and style. And it is this purple coat like this is what dreams are made of this is my favorite thing it is so comfy i know i talk all about how i live in southern california and like the weather it's so hot it doesn't really get cold but it does get cold and i realized for the days that it is actually cold i don't really have many jackets that are actually warm and personally i get cold very easily i am such a baby when it comes to the cold like i literally turn purple so i have to have something that is going to keep me warm and i love a good denim jacket but like it just does not do anything for me and this style coat i've been just like drooling over for such a long time and yeah fell in love definitely is going to be one of my number one favorite things that i've thrifted in 2022 the last piece i honestly just got in the mail like it came two days ago and i have been so excited and i've been wanting to share with you guys because i i know you're gonna love them too which are the unif parker boots like are you kidding me i'm so excited and if you guys remember, 
I had the Unif Brat Boots that I thrifted on Depop last year. And as much as I love them, realistically, they were way too high. Every time I wore them, even though it was just in the house, I was scared I was going to fall. So I came to terms that I needed to say goodbye to those. So I ended up selling them on Poshmark and Depop had randomly started to recommend the Unif Parker boots. Although they were not in my size, they would show me them in a size six or a size seven. And I just instantly fell in love. The thing that got me is they aren't like a super intense platform. Like there isn't too much height going on. These actual boots are completely sold out on the UNIP website. And so I have a saved search on Depop for specifically the Parker boots in a size 10 because I literally didn't see any. And so I definitely got quite impatient. And one thing I do when it comes specifically with shoes, I find it works a little bit better. If I'm looking for a very particular brand and style of something, I will just Google it. And a lot of times it'll come up with either Poshmark or Depop or Macari postings. I ended up finding these on Macari. Now, I've never purchased anything from Macari. I don't have anything against Macari. I just usually mainly use Poshmark and Depop. A lot of times people that sell on these different apps will sell on all of them. So I did originally try to find the seller on Poshmark, but they only sold on Macari and they were in a size 10. They honestly are in great condition. They came in the original box. They were $172, which I think the Parker boots usually retail for about $195, but they are sold out everywhere. So definitely the price makes sense. They are so cute. Definitely a good everyday boot. Like you want the platform, but you don't want to feel like you're going to fall all the time. Like these are it. Although I would say they actually fit a little bit too tight. Like I think a size 11 would be too big, but the size 10 is almost slightly too small, which is funny because the Brat boot by Unif was like the perfect fit and it was in a size 10. So I'm hoping as I wear them more, they get more comfortable, but I am happy with my purchase. They are exactly what I have been wanting. Woo, alrighty, thank you guys so much for watching. I mean, gosh darn, I don't know how long this video is gonna be, but if you sat and watched all of it, thank you so much. Honestly, I could watch like an hour long video of somebody just talking about clothes, especially thrift clothes. And I just feel like with this thrift haul, every single piece I'm so in love with, like I literally thrifted my dream wardrobe. If you guys also like thrifting and secondhand fashion, which you do because you just sat through this entire video, make sure you subscribe right down below and hit that little bell so you're notified every time I make a new video. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram, which is alexsunshine83. I will see you guys in my next video. I hope you have a super sunny Sunday. Bye.